In this video, I'm going to show you how to use real Wii remotes on Dolphin. Ah, the Wiimote, such an interesting device and one that led to hours of fun in things like Wii Sports or other titles. And the device that has made emulation rather interesting for the Wii over the years. You've been able to make an emulated Wii Remote for a long time now, but it just doesn't always work out for some games, and nothing quite matches the experience of using the actual Wiimote for these games like it was designed. While it's been possible to hook up real Wii remotes for a while now, it hasn't always been the greatest experience until a couple of years ago when the Dolphin team included Bluetooth pass-through to Dolphin. With this capability, real Wii remotes are very functional and even Motion Plus is supported, making games like Skyward Sword just 100% playable. So, this guide is specifically for PC version of Dolphin since the steps to pass through a Bluetooth adapter are different for Mac and Linux. But, let's go ahead and dive in. Alright, so to get started, the first thing you're going to need is to get Dolphin installed. Use either one of the beta versions or development versions. These are the ones that will include Bluetooth pass-through. The last stable version is almost six years old and did not include Bluetooth pass-through, so don't use this. It is severely out of date. Next, you're going to need a Bluetooth adapter. Now, most Bluetooth adapters should work fine. There might be the occasional here and there that don't work. For example, this TP-Link... Uh, Bluetooth 5.01 does not work, even though it installs the driver correctly. It just never connects to the Wii modes, at least for me. So, if you have a variety of Bluetooth adapters, uh, try them all until you find one that works. So, for this demonstration, I'm going to be using an old IO Gear 1. I unfortunately can't send you a link for it because it's not for sale anymore. And, of course, you're also going to need a Wii Remote, either one with a Motion Plus, a Motion Plus adapter if you want to play Motion Plus games, that is, and then any other attachments you might want to use on it, like a nunchuck or classic controller. And then the last thing we need for our setup process is to download Zadig. So link to this will be in the description below, but just go ahead and head down to the download section here and download Zadig. But once you have Zadig downloaded, go ahead and get your Bluetooth adapter inserted into your computer if you haven't already done so, and let it get its drivers installed and doing its thing. And once you have all that ready and good to go, just open up Zadig. Go up to Options, click on List All Devices. And then you can click on the little drop-down box here and it will give you all of your devices that you can uh, mess around with the drivers for. Now, if you don't know which device is your Bluetooth adapter, you can unplug it, see which option disappears in the Zadig menu, plug it back in, see which one comes back. So there we go, I know this is my Bluetooth adapter. Now we're going to go down to this driver section here and we're going to change it from WinUSB to LibUSBK and then click on replace driver and be patient with it while it does its thing. And once the driver is finished installing, you'll get a successfully installed box here that you can just close out of and then you can close out of as a dig. Now if you go into your PC and you go to manage device manager you'll see that you now have a lib USB K uh, section here in your device manager and this is uh, your Bluetooth adapter so if you want to restore it to Bluetooth working order you can uninstall the device and then click on attempt to remove the driver uninstall it and then the next time you plug it in it'll be a normal Bluetooth device again but that's uh, just in case you want to install this but from here, go ahead and get booted up into Dolphin and click on the Controllers tab. You'll see there's a Wiimote section here, and by default it's set to emulate the Wii's Bluetooth adapter, and this is where you can just use like a normal controller, map Wiimote functions to it, and so on and so forth. But we're going to pass through our Bluetooth adapter, so we're going to click on that. And then I'm just going to move it over here to the side. And now we need to open up a Wii game or Virtual Console game or the Wii menu to sync our Wii remote to our new Bluetooth adapter that's ready to go. So I'm just going to open up Twilight Princess here. Exit full screen real quick so you can see what I'm doing. So I have my Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword Wiimote here ready to go. So I'm going to click on the sync button on the remote and then I'm going to click the sync button on Dolphin here. And the Wiimote has paired up with the Bluetooth adapter. And I can begin playing through Twilight Princess. 
So now it's asking me to connect a nunchuck. So I have my physical nunchuck here that I'm going to plug into the remote. And now I can start up a new game using my Wiimote and nunchuck. Now, another thing I forgot to mention is you will need some sort of sensor bar to be able to really take full advantage of Wii games because you would point the Wii remote at the TV, the sensor bar would pick up the IR positioning. So I have a AA battery powered Wii sensor bar on top of my monitor right now. So now I am able to move my Wiimote pointer around the screen, run around using my nunchuck, and we could just begin playing the game. And now just an example of a game that needs a Wii Classic controller. We got Virtual Console version of Mega Man X2 here. So I'm going to plug in my Wii Classic controller. And as soon as the Classic controller is detected, the game boots right up. And we are able to begin enjoying our games just like on the real Virtual Console. And finally, we're going to do a Motion Plus demo here, but I did want to mention that sometimes you might have to repair your Wii Remote with Dolphin, depending on your Bluetooth adapter. Some adapters will remember the pairing, you just press A on the Wii Remote and it'll load back up. Other times you have to come back into the controller settings and resync it. So with my adapter, I have to come in and sync it every time. So, now the game's asking me to plug back in that nunchuck, so I'm going to do that real quick. And now it wants me to calibrate my Motion Plus, so I'm going to put the Wiimote down. And there we go. But there we go, we can now play Skyward Sword with a real Wii Remote and Motion Plus to get the most authentic experience possible. But that's going to do it for this one. As always, if you happen to have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments section below and I'll do my best to try to help you out. The main issue with this project is just getting a Bluetooth adapter that'll actually cooperate. Again, most should work just fine, but you'll find the occasional one that'll just really refuse to work with Dolphin. But when it's all said and done, playing your Wii games the way they were meant to be played is pretty fantastic. Really simplifies control setup and again, you're playing it exactly how it was meant to be played. Except higher fidelity because emulation, yay, uprising, love it. But thank you so much, as always, for making it to the end of today's tutorial. I do have a couple of favors to ask you here at the end. If you haven't done so already, please hit that thumbs up, thumbs down button, just depending on how much you like today's video. And if you haven't done so already, hit that sub button, notification bell, just so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Loads of content coming your way, and I'd love to have you all along for the ride. If you'd like to further help support the channel, you can also check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. A little goes a long, long way to keeping this place up and running and bringing this content to you. Big shout out to all of our current champions. Y'all are amazing. Thank you so much for believing in what we do here and keeping it going. But until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.